only at homes, but businesses impacted in the valley uh, in more way than one. The St. Mary's Food Bank has been hit hard this season by those monsoon storms. Yeah, so twice already they have had to shut down and risk losing food and helping people all because of our weather. So ABC 15's John Treeweiler, he's live this morning at 31st Avenue in Thomas with why it is so critical they stay online. Good morning, John. Yeah, good morning, Allison and Dan. Well, this is the main culprit right here. Take a live look. This is the power pole that was knocked down earlier in the week because of those heavy monsoon storms that went through. It's still on the ground out here. This culprit caused power to be knocked out to the St. Mary's Food Bank allowance for about 35 hours. Thankfully, they didn't lose any food because of that. And it's not always the case. A couple years ago, a monsoon storm knocked out power for about two and a half days, causing a loss of 50000 dollars in food losing food this time of year really not an option for st mary's that's because they serve about 500 families in phoenix every single day about 250,000 meals served statewide and in the months of july and august they give out about seven to eight million pounds of food every single month. Normally they only do about four to five million pounds of food so by far this not only their busiest time of year but their most critical Monsoon season almost always dovetails with the time where we're struggling as a food bank. We get less donations during in July and August than we get at any other time of the year, but we're putting out seven, eight, eight and a half million pounds of food every month. The monsoon so bad out here, the folks actually at St. Mary's Food Bank Alliance have nicknamed this Monsoon Alley, this part of town. It's something they deal with every year, a couple times a year. This is the second time this year already they've been impacted by the storms, so they, of course, are doing something about it. They have new technology in place just this year so they don't lose any food. This last batch of storms, they did not lose any food. Because of it, we'll show you exactly what they're doing. We'll see you back out here in just a little bit. Good to see they're staying ahead of it kind of mitigate those circumstances, John, because they help hundreds of people every single day. Uh,